Welcome to our series, Moving America Forward. Each week we'll be focusing on America's entrepreneurs as they take us to new roads, new opportunities, new ways to fill the gaps left by today's failing companies. Our series will be looking at that and a lot more. So come with me and watch as the entrepreneurs of our nation move into the future. And I'm Doug Llewellyn here in our studios in Los Angeles with our guest today, who is the founder and the president of Fortress Financial Services located in Bend, Oregon. I'd like you to meet him now. He's an attorney and a very smart one. His name is Stephen Galgosi. Stephen, welcome. Nice to have you with us. Thanks so much for having me. You Doug. know, before we begin to re explain in depth what you do, a little while ago you had a chance to answer some questions from William Shatner. Let's take a look at a brief portion of that right now and see how it went. Okay? okay? Let's watch. I know that being successful in business today is not easy. Why don't you briefly describe what you do and what sets you apart from others in your field? And do you feel your business is helping to move America forward? Well, Mr. Shatner, what we do is work with individuals and businesses across the nation to resolve their tax liabilities with the IRS and state taxing authorities. We save many clients from financial ruin we save companies from going under, and we save a lot of jobs. We also resolve our clients' tax liabilities, often on very favorable terms. What separates us is the fact that we employ attorneys, not accountants, to do the work, and the work involves negotiation, not accounting. And in my opinion, attorneys are far better suited for this kind of tax work. Uh, and that, Mr. Shatner, is how Fortress Financial Services is helping to move America forward. You know, that's very interesting what you were talking about. People usually shudder when they hear dealing with the IRS, not only individuals, but companies as well. And you deal with both. You help both, right? Absolutely. Tell me a little bit about what happens when a company gets in trouble with the IRS. What, what, what does the IRS do? Well, there's a progression of actions. I mean, when you don't pay your taxes, you immediately start to incur penalties and interest, and right. those can snowball and, and quite rapidly turn a relatively small liability into a large one. Um, the IRS will um, issue a notice and demand for payment. It gives you 10 days to pay it off in full. If you don't, they're within their rights to file a notice of federal tax lien. Uh, and that is a public record. It's a notice to the world saying this particular taxpayer didn't pay his or her taxes, um, and that can also hurt someone's credit or the credit of a business. Right. Um, at some point after that, they may assign a revenue officer, um, somebody local who will probably come show up at your business or knock on your door um, and really start beginning the collection process, um, usually giving you a you know, bunch of deadlines and demands. Um, they can send a, an intent to levy notice. If the taxes remain unpaid, they can start freezing your bank accounts. Um, they can garnish wages. Um, if you are a business that has accounts receivable, they can levy those receivables, meaning um, let, let's just say, Doug, that, um, that I have a contracting business, I did a project for you, yep and you owe me twenty thousand right. um, dollars. The IRS can send you a notice saying, hey, Stephen Galgosi didn't pay his taxes. Whatever you owe him, you are now ordered to pay directly to the IRS. This wow. is a devastating thing for a business. Sure. Um, not only, and, and they do this often to all of your accounts receivables at once. So not only are you, is your cash flow completely choked off, um, you're probably going to be losing customers because I mean, it, it could put them right out of business yeah. The, yeah what's interesting is companies typically have attorneys that, that represent them yes normally their inclination I, th I would think would be to go to their attorney and say help me out on this and that might not be the right thing to do they really need someone like you yes. who knows what they're doing Yeah, they, they may go with their local attorney or, or a lot of them go with their CPA they figure it's a tax problem right. CPA can can take care of it um, but, you know, most CPAs really do very, very little tax collection work, and, and a lot of them won't do it at all. Um, it's just not, it, it's sort of a different ball game. Um, it involves 
a lot of negotiation. That's the key word, negotiation, isn't it? Yes. I mean, that's what you specialize in. Yes, we're negotiators. I mean, because that's really how you how you end up getting people out of trouble with the IRS. You yes. negotiate their deals. Yeah, we, we build as strong as possible case as, as we possibly can for them. Right. Um, and we have to present persuasive arguments, both verbally and in writing, the type of things that lawyers tend to, well, we're trained for. I, I wanted to point out, and I know you've been dealing in this field, uh, representing the IRS with individuals and companies for like 17 years. This company, Fortress, is now in its 13th year in business. And as you, as you pointed out before, the key thing is here, you have attorneys that represent your clients. They're not bookkeepers, they're not accountants. And that's a key thing. You, you mentioned that to, to William Shatner. Again, reemphasize why that's so important. Well, I mean, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, there's very, very little accounting done when you're resolving it. We're beyond that. The, the accounting's been done. There's a tax liability. It's unpaid. The IRS is coming after you. And, 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 and they've and, had and to have, the first thing they have to do is file the returns, right? They've yes. got to get those done yes. and get them in. Yes, that's correct. Because nothing can happen before that's done. Well, I mean, the IRS they, doesn't know how much they, money they, you they, owe. Well, they can prepare and file a return for you. They can. Yes. Interesting. Um, That's scary. Which, which <laughs> they'll generally <laughs> <laughs> estimate very high. Okay, right. <laughs> so the key then is, is the fact that attorneys who are experienced in dealing with the IRS will then go to work on your behalf and that's that's so critically important. Yeah, I mean this is about advocating client rights, defending taxpayer rights, um, building and presenting strong arguments. Do, they, do you end up making deals uh, like we hear the term you know offering compromise with they do they do that for individual for companies as well as individuals? Yes, yes, both companies and individuals um, who qualify right. um, may be able to settle their tax liabilities for a fraction, pennies on the dollar sometimes. And how long does this process generally, t or does, is it a, it depends on the situation? It depends on the situation. It, it can be very, very different. Some of our clients are not in compliance with the tax laws and are not eligible yet for a tax resolution. Um, so with those clients, they need our help desperately because oftentimes we can minimize or eliminate the chances of all the bad things that can happen, the bank levies, the receivable levies, seizure of assets, uh, wage garnishments, those types of things. Um, I was going to ask you, what are the most serious situations? Somebody may be behind and late in paying their taxes, a company. Yeah. Uh, but what about companies who haven't filed tax returns for a number of years and are, and are behind there? And included with that, they haven't, they haven't done the withholding tax situation. That makes it even worse, doesn't yeah. it? Um, well, they need to get in compliance with, with filing their returns. And you know, particularly with a small business, I think every small business ought to have uh, at least a very good enrolled agent, if not a CPA, right. doing their taxes for them. Um, sort of like, you might say like having a CPA is like having a family doctor. You need regular checkups. But when you're in collections, this is more serious. So we're, we're more like an oncologist who will come in and address the specific problem of unpaid taxes. Talk to me a little bit about how you work through with the IRS w w when someone does have these problems. How, how do you negotiate? How are you able to do that? And, and you can't give me your trade secrets, I know, <laughs> but, but a, a little bit of insight as to what happens to work out a deal with the IRS. Um, well, when we first take a new client, you know, very important, we do a, a consultation over the phone with the attorney and the right. client. Uh, we file a power of attorney. Once that happens, we take over all communications with the IRS. The IRS should not be calling our clients. They should not be knocking on their door unannounced. Right. Um, we generally will make contact with the IRS. O often the same day we accept the case or within one or two days later. Right. Um, and, th and we begin to the negotiation process immediately. One of the very first things that we do is assess the client's risk of enforced collections. If there is a significant risk, we will take action to minimize or eliminate that risk um, so that our clients can sleep at night and not have to worry about their bank accounts being frozen. Um, 
Some of our clients have problems with compliance. We need to help them get eligible, get them into compliance with the tax laws. Once they're in compliance, then we're on the offense. Um, we are working towards resolution of their tax liability and you know, depending upon the client, there's a number of different ways to go about resolving a tax liability. Um, for some of them, it's offering compromises, you mentioned, settlement. Uh, for other clients, we are able to reduce or eliminate penalties. You know, I wanted to mention that because you had told me before, sometimes clients will have a CPA represent them and will we'll work out an arrangement to enough time to pay off taxes, for example. Whereas you're able to sometimes deal with the, the IRS and get penalties eliminated and get the time changed so that th there's a big different advantage of working with someone experienced uh, in the absolutely. field. Absolutely. I mean, that's... that's all we do, handle tax collection cases, that's it. We don't prepare returns, nothing else. No Any other types of tax law, we don't do tax litigation. Right. Only tax resolution, helping taxpayers get out of collections with the IRS and with the states. And now, you're, I know you're located in Bend, Oregon. Yes. Which is kind of an interesting place to be located, but you represent clients from all over the country. Yes. So it doesn't matter the fact that you're in Bend. If somebody in New York or in Mississippi is having a problem, you can still help. It, it does not matter. All the work is done over the telephone, via email, fax machine. Um, and a, it, it can actually reduce fees by way of the fact that we're not local. Your local representative might get called in to go visit with the local IRS right. officer there. And you know what could have been a 45-minute phone call winds up being two or three hours. And of course, the client's paying. Right. Do you have success for the most part when you're representing a client and helping yes, them out? Yes, for the That's clients the that follow our instructions, um, we have a very, very high success rate. That's that's the key. Yes. That's the key. It's a, it's a pleasure to talk to you. you know, dealing with the IRS is scary, but at least there is help out here, and it's good to know where to go to get it. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Doug. Now, it's my honor to present this prestigious award to Stephen Gargosi, the founder and president of Fortress Financial Services in Bend, Oregon, for the outstanding work his firm is doing to help keep moving America forward. Stephen, congratulations. Thank you so much, Doug. What an amazing honor. I uh, would also like to say thank you to my business partner and our vice president, Michael Zaka, uh, without whom this would not have been possible. It's been a real pr pleasure being on your show today. Thanks so much for having me. You're welcome. That's it for another edition of Moving America Forward. I'm Bert Tenzer. Join us again as we continue to bring you the entrepreneurs who move America forward. I'm William Shatner, and for all of us at Moving America Forward, thanks for watching.